Welcome to Tech to Ask Indy. Today we're going to look at the Aqua Computer Octo and the software that comes with it, the Aqua Suite, and how to use Aqua Suite to control fan speed from temperatures from the coolant and other important sources. So, first, let's bring it up here. When we first open the Aqua Seat, you're going to it's going to look like this and then you can click on your sensors you have i've named my sensor coolant because i know what i plugged it into we can take a look at the octo here the temperature probes one two three four so when you plug it into the computer just remember what you plug in where so you are no doubt about what you're looking at and so I know number one was my coolant and number four was my ambient. And those temperatures I can use to create a fan control uh, speed curve. If I go to playground and virtual sensors, I have mine already here, but I will show you how to make it. I have quite a bit, quite a few inputs, but let's add a new one. I'm gonna call it uh, test temp fan. And then units will be Celsius. And then we have this one here. We're gonna add a data source in. Click select data source. Then here, uh, data from Aqua Computer Service. Then Aqua Computer Hardware Monitor. Then you have all the things it's monitoring. You wanna go get your, let's get the CPU first. So, you have all the cores 1 to 16, because I have a 16 core CPU. Uh, and we're gonna just take the CPU package today. You can add all the other ones, I did that, but uh, let's double click on that. CPU package. And then you have a temperature on the CPU package. Let's add one more. Same thing again, data source all the way in, and then we're gonna go add the graphics card. So we have the GPU core, and we're gonna add the hotspot as well. Let's just add what else we got here. We got the GPU hotspot. And let's add the last GPU measurement there was. That was the GPU memory junction. Add that as well. So now you have CPU and GPU information. Now you want some information on your coolant. You click add again. And then here you go to the octo and then temperature sensors, and then you, if you name them, they will show up as coolant. And we're gonna add one more. Uh, temperature sensors and ambient. So that's the ambient is inside the case, not outside the case. I put a temperature probe inside the case, so I always know how hot it is inside the case. So if it gets, if the air inside the case is too hot, it will heat up everything else. So therefore you need to get air out. So now you have all these in, you need to do something with it. I have found that using a average of these are the best because otherwise if you use the highest and just put, I will show you here. You go to functions, you have average and maximum. Let's take the maximum. You simply add these two here. And then you can duplicate it and add those two and then duplicate it. But this will spike around a lot because it's just the highest that goes and it will keep go up and down. Let's see. Oh yeah, we need one more. Uh, duplicate. One from here, and one from here. And then you can see 
it is jumping quite all over the place, especially if you're gaming. Right now I'm doing nothing, so it's not. But if you were to do something, it will jump up and down. I've tried that. And then the fan curve will go up and down like a... Yeah, it will just jump everywhere. Um... Right now, the highest is the GPU junction. If you then add a average instead, you get a much more... much more smooth interaction. Duplicate. And duplicate. Which ones are those two? Then duplicate. And we want that one and that one. And we want this one and that one. It will give the other one will just give up a steady. 50 degrees because the memory junction i'm not using the graphics cards for anything right now i could start something in the background if i were to do that uh it will start spiking up and down uh if you want but it, it's up to you really you can use both uh with the, with the maximum it will be a very aggressive fan curve it will go up and down very quickly so let's just delete these and stick with the ones i like the best. And therefore, we have this here. Now you have your temperature you want to use for a fan curve. Then you click back to the octo over here and click fans. And then you're going to click one of the fans. I've selected fan number three. Because I have a RPM controller and some other things on that. And then on the other fans, you're pretty much just selected. Use settings of fan free on all of them. So now all the other fans except the pump is now a slave to whatever I do with the... And here you can do... Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Sensors. So when you leave here... When you go out of your playground, after you create your temperature, you go to sensors. You have to take one of the software sensors you have. You have one to 16 software sensors. I already used one. You click this one and add data source. Data source from... Oh, where is it now? In here somewhere. Uh, uh, oh, virtual software sensors. Yeah, there it is. It's under virtual software sensors. That's my. <laughs> I forgot where it was. And then you double click it, and then you, then you can offset it and multiply it, or yeah. If you offset it by one degree, it will show one degree lower than it is. If you want to offset it by the ambient temperature or something. So now we have the test fan, test temperature fan. Then we go to fans and now you have number three. You can add this one, click this one in, and then you can create your fan curve here. I would recommend you start at I've started my fan curve at 20 degrees and ended at 80. And if this number, the average of all the other things hits, right now it's running 37 and a half. So that's, what is that? That is 39% output. It's, uh, and the more you played, I have made so it level out some places. And when you first boot up the computer, the fans won't run because it's... Uh, it's very low set, so it starts, there's a big gap here from, what is that, uh, 
10% to 25%. If you set it to 10%, I think it's less than 15 you have to set it to if your fans can stop. If you have a uh, fan that can actually stop running at the lowest setting, it will stop. And see, the other fans here are RPM is low, but just... That's because I have no RPM controller on those, but it's running the same speed as number three because I have RPM control on that one. I'm going to put it back to my own and then we can go look at the one I have made in virtual softwares. So this is a pretty basic one. You have CPU packets, GPU core, GPU hotspot memory junction, coolant, and ambient. I have made this one. So I have GPU core, hotspot, memory. Then I have 1 to 16, of course. And then I have the water temperature, the coolant, and then I have the ambient. So I have just every single core I've put and then averaged it all out. And then I've added a... Uh, I've added a filter, a low-pass filter. Let's drag it over here. It's simply so o over the time span. Let's see what time span did I set here. I've set 10 second time span. It will dampen. We can also increase this and then the result will be more uh, smooth up and down. So it doesn't jump up and down a lot. You can also add a there's one more. There is the, oh, it's filters, sorry. The low pass filter, or you can average it out with a time interval. So if I do this, and then settings, and set it for 20 seconds. So over 20 seconds, it will make an average of whatever input average of everything else is. So now you should be able to use Aqua Suite for controlling your fan speed. You can also use this temperature probe if you want to go back to the fans. You can click the pump. I've set my pump at 55%, just leaving it there. But I could go curve controller, set it after the coolant, and then this is the random, uh, this is the pre-installed one, Aqua Computer half. And now it will follow whatever curve that is here, you can then change the curve if you want to, if you want a minimum setting. 30 degrees, where's that? That is around here, I meaning it's running very slowly. You can then pull it up if you want to. Let's say you want a minimum speed of, you want at least 20%. You can go manual setup here, click on that one, and then you can say we want 20% here. That is the minimum I want my pump to run. So and then we can jump it to, let's say, 30. For three points. But I also need, we need to add, it's only up to 40 degrees and we're only at 30 because it's the average of everything. You can just pretty much add in just the coolant, really. So I'm using the coolant. You can add the fan control speed bar. Let's use the coolant for the pump only. And I don't want the coolant to go higher than, uh, oops, let's drag it out till yeah, 50 so max will be 50 well not max but that's the end of my curve and therefore we can set it for so we have three points at 30 and then we can go three points at 40 and then create these plateaus where we could actually Let's go 45. And then we want to jump up to 55. Yeah. 
We don't want to go higher than... Well, that's up to you, really. I don't want my pump. So it won't, if it reaches... Wait, we can just bail it out at 40 degrees. Oops. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, let's level this out at 40 degrees. If we hit 40 degrees, it will maximum out at 80%. So right now the coolies is 30% and the start is putting it back to, oh, where's the start? Start temperatures is 20. And this one, let's drag it back to 20 degrees. There we go. And then we go. This one is 25. Yeah, but you, you get the idea here. You can pretty much just go and add everything in here. Now the pump is also running up and down in speed. It's up to you what you prefer. Uh, as I said when we started, I have mine at a preset power preset at 55%, just running same speed all the time. Um, that's what I find the best. It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't make any noise, doesn't make anything.